Welcome back to another edition of Top Fishing Flies, and uh, today we're going to tie uh, two more flies. We're going to tie a garbage bag caddis, and we're going to tie a garbage bag mayfly. But before we get started, I just wanted to give a plug to a couple of young men. These are, uh, one I believe is preteen, and one is just about 14 or so, and they're really into the sport, and Kind of encourage that in our in our youth before our heritage goes away. Keep these young guys uh, in something good and keep them off the streets. And the first one is hunting and fishing with Ryan. He has that YouTube channel, and he has a lot a lot of stuff: archery shooting, fly tying. He's pretty good fly tire and uh, fly fishing. And the second one is Mad Fishing Skills. His name is also Ryan. And he has a good good videos, good channel. He uh, fishes down in Georgia for trout. Lands some really nice size rainbows and browns. I mean, real nice, four to five pounders. And he's a, he's a nice young man. And give him a, some encouragement also. And... Thanks for that, and now we're going to get started with the video. The first fly we're going to make is going to be a garbage bag granny apple caddis. The hook I have in the vise is this is a size 14, two extra short. So this is actually more like a size 18 fly, and you got that nice size 14 gap for hooking and keeping them on. And this hook has a turned up eye. I'm using the turned up eye because I have the hooks and uh, I'm going to use them up. They work fine with the turned up eye. I haven't had any problems hooking fish or anything like that. I'm going to use black 8-aught thread. And we're going to put a base of thread back to the rear of the hook to start our body. And we're going to stop just about at the barb. We're going to start out by putting a rib in and I have a medium done hackle here. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. I'm going to actually trim that just a little bit right off the bat so I don't have to fight with the eye of the hook. And I'm going to tie that in. Now I'm going to take Granny Apple Super Fine Dubbing and the way I did this I took this pale yellow and I took two parts of the pale yellow and I took one part of the olive and mixed them together and a nice granny apple color here I'm gonna mix that just a little bit more all you have to do is put it in your fingers and pull it these granny apple caddis are uh, they, they'll be coming out on the Delaware River soon, and it's it's a big hatch when if you hit them right. They hatch at the mostly at the head of them long pools, and the fish are rising all the way through the pool and eating these, so not a bad idea to have some of these in your box. I'm going to take just a small pinch of the dubbing. And we're going to wrap that body. I think I need just a little bit more. With the super fine dubbing, you put it on and stretch it. And you'll get a nice thin noodle. The further you stretch it, the thinner your noodle will be. And you can't make your dubbing loop too thin or your dubbing noodle too thin you can always add more we're gonna stop that one eye length from the eye of the hook we're going to take our hackle and give that maybe three turns palmering it forward there we go one two and three we're going to tie that off. Put 
pull back, tie off in the front, and we can break off the Now excess. for the wing I have a tan grocery bag and I cut it to about a quarter inch strip and I cut a dart on the uh, top. We're going to go ahead and tie that dart in. With the grocery bag if you uh, take the bag and you pull it, you pull it one way and it will rip. You pull it the other way and it will stretch and by stretching it you could get a different color than what the bag was originally. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to cut it at an angle back. And there we have our nice caddis wing right there. This is going to sit nice and low in the water even with the hackle on it. Now for the front hackle I have a furnace hackle here. I'm, I'm using this because of the brown and it's handy. You can use a furnace, you can use a brown or red hackle. And we're just going to put a couple of wraps on this too. One, two, and we're going to bring that up and tie that off. Two or three wraps is sufficient. A couple of wraps in on top of it and then put some wraps in front of it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. This is a nice furnace saddle hackle. You can see I still have about four inches here. I could still get maybe three flies out of this. Now we're going to, I'm going to put a half hitch in there. You can see I have one hackle barbel going forward. Double half hitch. Put it on. And that takes care of the forward hackles. And since I have my half hitch out, I'm just going to go ahead and put a third half, double half hitch in there and call it finished. Put some head cement on there to finish it off. Like I said, this is a great, the garbage bag wing is a great imitation for caddis that are just laying on the surface. You can go ahead and trim the bottom off if you'd like, and that will let it sit lower in the water and just trim a little bit of this bottom off still got some on there but that'll let it sit lower in the water now for the mayfly I'm going to make a garbage bag wing bluing olive and here this is an actual garbage bag this is a recycled garbage bag I'm going to take a section of it if you use the garbage bag or the grocery bag and you intend to pull it you want to uh, cut it bigger because when you pull it it's changing colors but it's also going to get smaller and I pull that one right off I still got plenty here just watch that change color you know I'm gonna just use the black thread this is 8 ot like I said it is a standard dry fly hook size 16 We're going to put a base of thread down to the halfway point and come back half of that. Now we're going to take our garbage bag that we pulled and you got a nice slate color right here for that olive's wing. And you take it and twist it, twist it like about three times and you'll have a bow tie there. Take that and you can just tie that in that and that skinny section. Keep that on top. And I'll just pull that up to the top there. There we go. And these are very easy to stand upright and divide. Pull those wings up.
think I'm a little bit far back. I'm going to kind of try to push them back, push them forward there a little bit. All right. Now we can cut the wing to size. We want the wing about the length of the hook shank. I'm going to first cut flat. And then I'm going to trim the back down at an angle. <sighs> Gotta get a little more of an angle than that. And here we have our upright and divided wing. I'm gonna take the thread back to the barb of the hook. And we're going to use a blue done hackle for the tail. Take that, and we want that tail to be about the length of the hook shank. I have it trimmed off there. We're going to tie that in. As Ooh, there we go. I'm going to take a small pinch of super fine dubbing in blue wing olive. I actually saw a lot of these hatching today, but nothing was rising for them. And we're going to go ahead and wrap that. We'll take our blue done hackle. I have it trimmed. I'm going to place that right between the wings. Leave a little bit of it of the trim section out the back and pull straight down and tighten that up right there. Then you can take the wings, move them out of your way and secure the hackle stem in front of the wing and build that up a little bit so you don't have that big step down make that head there a little bit too and keep that thread about one eye length from the eye of the hook I'm going to take that hackle and wind that forward get two wraps in back Move it to the front. With these small hackles, you got to be pretty careful because you could pull them out of the hackle pliers easily. And one last wrap there. I want to get this thread on there. There we go. a few wraps in front and I broke off the hackle I'm going to take my half hitch tool once again got a couple of barbels there that are sticking forward I'm going to push them back there we go we got that out of there nice now I'll take my half hitch tool Give it a three turn half hitch. Tighten that up, cut that off, and put a little bit of head cement on it. This is another hatch that's pretty big on the Delaware. And uh, especially in the summertime, come June and July, those olives are pretty good up there. And you gotta have a pretty, pretty uh, close match on the wings for those trout. And that's where this garbage bag wing comes in real nice because it's a really nice match for those sleek wings on the blue wing olives. And here we have two more of my top fishing flies. We have a granny apple caddis, big hatch on the Delaware, and we have the garbage bag wing blue wing olive. The garbage bags are very durable. 
this slate wing is very very close to the natural give them a try I'm sure you'll be happy with them hope that you learned something from this video hope you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends leave comments questions suggestions and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos